Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Eddie and welcome back to King's Court. Uh, yes, you see the new setup? That is a Rolex. It's, uh, it's nice, but that's beside the point. Today I want to talk about the Clippers. I said Clippers in 5. That's gone. But I also said Clippers in 6. Now, things are getting really, really slim. Chances are very narrow for the Clippers now since they dropped two games at Utah. I would have liked them to come out with one win in Utah, but it's not over by a long shot. They definitely have a few more uh, uh, games in, left in them. And look, I'm not disappointed in the performance last night at all. Paul George was finally aggressive for most of the game, shooting his shots, and, you know, he did all right. 27 points. I'm okay with it. Kawhi, I don't think he had too much of an impact, but of course he's been way more consistent than Paul George has been. So, all in all with those two superstars, I'm okay. Not huge games, but just enough to get the Clippers into that, uh, you know, threshold of almost winning the game. The Clippers uh, role players did a solid for sure, and I expect them to do even better on the next one. Hopefully, even with Serge Ibaka officially rolled out for the rest of the season it's a bummer we would have loved to have him but you know that's all we got and <clears throat> last game i was very upset at paul george because he wasn't able to execute in the clutch or i'm sorry through the whole game and he did pull, pull through in the clutch this time he did it consistently throughout the game and i'm not upset about him but what the clippers have not going for them is Utah just sheer dumb luck. I think sheer dumb luck. Jordan Clarkson, half the time just off the dribble, shooting that shooting that ball, one bank shot. What was it, like about six, five, six threes he hit? Yeah, that's, I think that's going to be gone within the next few games. You can't stay that hot. You can't jack up shots and win games. Uh, Bog Bogdan, but boy, yeah. Whatever Bogdanovich it is, the high uh, shot off the glass to go in at the very tip of the backboard. Yeah, if that didn't happen, for sure the Clippers would have stayed in it. That was a BS shot. Lucky it's going to happen. Then at the end, the Clippers did jack up some shots. Beverly, uh, what, he bricked a floater when Rudy Gobert didn't even try to contest him. He shot a three when he should enough. Marcus Morris, I don't count on him missing, what, two or three threes in the clutch again? For sure, they should have won that game had these shots have fallen. Um, Reggie Jackson, <laughs> huge props to him. He's looking like our second best player of this, of this playoffs run, and I hope it continues. I don't have too much to say today. Um, Milwaukee obviously did their thing, but... Both teams were really bad. I mean, what, did they They didn't get to 90 points or 100 points? Just an ugly game. I don't want anyone to talk about it. Brooklyn played ugly. So did Milwaukee. But it's the last final shots that went in that determined the game. I don't have much to say about that game. But that's all I got to say for today. Making it really short. Less than five minutes. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll be way more in-depth tomorrow. Hopefully the games tonight are good, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Thanks for listening.